Hello friends, how are you? I am Shranik Bharatiya. I am back with another new video on Basel guideline. In our previous video, we have seen various techniques of credit risk mitigation. And CRM techniques generally reduce credit risk but they do not fully eliminate it. And three forms of residual risk are explicitly addressed in this new proposed framework. First is asset mismatch, second maturity mismatch and third is currency mismatch. And the committee's approach towards maturity mismatch and currency mismatch is same across all the CRM technique. And the treatment of asset mismatch is provided in the area of credit derivative. And in order to compensate such mismatch between exposure and collateral, we will apply haircut on collateral and exposure. So banks have two ways to calculate haircut. First is standard supervisory haircut where all the parameters are set by committee and second is own estimate haircut where bank use own internal estimate of market price volatility and supervisor may permit banks to calculate haircut using their own estimate of the market price volatility and foreign exchange volatility. Permission will be given to the bank only if supervisor is satisfied that bank meets all the minimum qualitative and quantitative standards. And a bank may choose to use supervisory haircut or own estimate haircut independently of the choice it has made between standardized approach and IRB approach for credit risk. However, if bank seeks to use their own estimate haircut, they must do so for all range of instrument type for which they would be eligible to use own estimate. Though there is an exception if that is immaterial portfolio. So now we will look at each haircut and we will start with FX haircut. So here if exposure and collateral are held in different currencies then additional downward adjustment will be made to volatility adjusted collateral amount to take account of possible future fluctuation in FX rate and the standard supervisory haircut of 8% should be applied for currency risk where exposure and collateral are denominated in different currencies and this 8% haircut is based on 10 days MPOR. Now we will look at volatility haircut. As you can see on the screen haircut holding period and the size of individual haircut will depend on type of instrument, type of transaction and frequency of MTM and remargining. For example, repo style transaction subject to daily MTM and daily remargining will receive haircut based on 5 days MPOR and secure lending transaction with daily Daily MTM and, and no remargining clause will receive haircut based on 20 days MPOR and this haircut number will scaled up depending upon the actual frequency of remargining and MTM. As further alternative to standardized supervisory haircut and own estimate haircut, bank may choose VAR model for calculating the potential price volatility for repo style transaction and other similar SFT transaction. So now we will look at maturity mismatch. For the purpose of calculating RWA, a maturity mismatch occurs when residual maturity of the collateral is less than residual maturity of the underlying exposure. The effective maturity of underlying should be gauged as the longest possible remaining time before the counterparty is scheduled to fulfill its obligation, taking into account any applicable grace period. So where the residual maturity of collateral is less than that of the underlying exposure then maturity mismatch occurs and where there is a maturity mismatch and collateral's original maturity is less than one year then collateral cannot be recognized for capital purposes. So collateral with maturity mismatch are only recognized when the original maturity is greater than or equals to one year. And in all cases collateral with maturity mismatch will no longer be recognized if residual maturity of collateral is less than three months. To conclude, collateral can only be recognized in case of maturity mismatch when two conditions are satisfied. First, when the original maturity of collateral is more than one year and second, when the residual maturity of the collateral is more than three months, then in such case collateral can be recognized for capital purposes. So now we will look at restructuring haircut. When the restructuring of the underlying obligation is not covered by credit derivative but the other requirements are met, then partial recognition of credit derivative is allowed. If the amount of credit derivative derivative is less than or equals to the amount of underlying obligation then 60% of the amount of collateral can be recognized and if the amount of credit derivative is larger than that of the underlying obligation then the amount of eligible collateral is capped at 60% of the amount of underlying exposure. And at last for transaction in which bank allows non-eligible instrument or non-investment grade corporate debt securities then haircut to be applied on exposure should be same as that of the equity traded on recognized exchange but not part of main index that is haircut will be equal to 25%. 
and now here we have come to the end of our video and i hope this has helped you to understand different type of haircut applied on the collateral less per pestle guideline and if you think this can help others then please share it with your friends and colleagues and please subscribe to this channel for more update on pestle guideline and please provide your feedback in the comment section below which will help us to improve thanks for watching and god bless you all